Tonight, what's old might be new again as the city moves forward with the renovation of the Waikiki Natatorium. Our Eddie Dowd has more on who would pay for it and the design. The Waikiki Natatorium was first opened in 1927 as a saltwater swimming pool. The monument was meant to honor the estimated 10,000 Hawaii residents who served in World War I. More than 40 years after the natatorium was deemed unsafe and closed, a more than $30 million project aims to reopen the gates for public swimming. Some of the existing natatorium will have to be taken down and rebuilt. Foundation that's actually in the ocean is going to have to be completely redone. Um, and that's where a big part of the cost comes because you're working in the water. But the facade that everyone sees as they look at the natatorium, that is going to stay the way it is. The city has budgeted nearly a million dollars over the last two years for planning. The nonprofit Friends of the Natatorium will try to come up with the rest. Are you confident that the money will come? This is the reason why we didn't ask for the money before, because there was not a clear concrete plan of how to move forward. The plan calls for openings on the Eva and Mackay sides of the basin to keep the ocean flowing and avoid stagnant water. It's based on a five-year-old environmental study conducted in 2019 when then Mayor Kirk Caldwell backed a restoration effort. After that, uh, COVID happened basically. So everybody kind of took a, a back seat to try and figure out how we were going to uh, how to survive. With the pandemic now over, Mayor Rick Blangiardi is throwing his full support behind the rebuilding. I think the mayor has, has, uh, has really put the, uh, the heat on to, to get this done. We wouldn't be, they wouldn't be involved uh, if we weren't serious about it. As I said, the mayor is very committed to getting this project done. I know past administrations have tried and, and for whatever reason have not succeeded. The city says it's presented its plans to the neighborhood board and heard concerns about the potential closure of adjacent Kaimana Beach. There, there are far too many people that love and use that beach every single day and, and we're not, there's no plans to do that. The city hopes to have the design ready by late 2025 with construction underway in time for the monument's 100th anniversary in 2027. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.